Since time immemorial, people have wanted to unravel the mysteries of the universe. What are building blocks of matter? What are we all made of? What are the rules that govern our universe from the movements of galaxies to the interactions of the tiniest particles? One of the tools to solve those mysteries is the particle accelerator. Particle accelerators are machines that get different particles up to very high energies and smash them into each other. Scientists then scrutinize these collisions to learn more about the way particles behave and draw conclusions about the rules that underpin everything. There are different technologies to get particles nearly up the speed of light, all involving high-performance magnets and accelerating structures. And there are different technologies to read out the myriads of information that is generated when particles collide with each other at high energies. You may have heard of the Large Hadron Collider at the European Laboratory for Particle Physics CERN in Geneva, the world's largest and more powerful accelerator to date. It was here that the last missing piece of the standard model of particle physics, the theory that describes the particles and the forces that act between them, was found in 2012, the Higgs boson. Scientists around the world agreed that the Higgs must be studied in more detail because it holds the key to many fundamental questions about the universe. There are different ideas and concepts how to find out more about the Higgs. One of these is a new particles accelerator called the International Linear Collider. ILC. We plan the ILC to be a new particle collider, which is meant to study the Higgs boson in much greater precision than will be possible at the LHC. We will have collide electrons and positrons from each side and accelerate it in 10 km long arms colliding in the middle to there produce a lot of Higgs bosons under clean conditions. The electron-positron collisions create a very clean environment. You can build fantastic detectors that can pick up all the properties of the Higgs boson. And you can look for the imprint on the Higgs boson of these new particles that we haven't discovered. Another thing that we can do is to look for events that have, for example, a single gamma ray in them. And that single gamma ray must recoil against something, but those will be invisible particles. This is how we can actually look for invisible particles that are very difficult to detect. And those particles could well be the dark matter of the universe. So in all of these ways, we can try and use the beautiful ability to do very precise, clean measurements at the ILC to learn about all these aspects of nature. Discovering the Higgs particle at the Large Hadron Collider is a triumph and the International Linear Collider will allow physicists to make tremendous steps forward in our understanding of the universe. But accelerators like the ILC have many important applications around the world beyond particle physics. So biologists and chemists and material scientists want to take pictures of molecules or solid state structures at the atomic level. To do that, you can't use uh, ordinary light. It's just too coarse. You have to use something else, and the preferred objects are beams of neutrons or beams of X-rays. Right now, the best sources for producing those use the technology that was developed for the ILC. The Spallation Neutron Source, for example, at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and the free electron lasers uh, that we use, uh, for example, here at SLAC and also at DAISY. So as we develop, newer, more powerful accelerators, we can apply them to many things outside of high energy physics. It really radiates through all of science. The ILC will give physicists a new cosmic doorway to explore energy regions beyond the reach of today's accelerators, but it will also play an important role in training particle and accelerator scientists of the future, as well as expanding international understanding of accelerator technology and utilization. The ILC is designed as a global project with scientists from over 50 countries and we need to make everybody work together, produce the best ideas and still keep a coherent design. Constructing the ILC would cost 6.5 uh, billion US dollars. It would take 10 to 12 years to actually construct it once uh, funding agencies of leading countries agree how to share the cost and where to build the project. 
Where should we build the ILC? While no decision has been made, the leading candidate at the moment is in Japan. Japanese scientists are working hard to realize it in Japan as a global project. The path to the ILC is a global endeavor. So the big test laboratories now are at uh, KEK in Japan, at DAISY in Germany, at Fermilab and Jefferson Laboratory here in the US. These big goals in high energy physics motivate the construction of really novel technologies. And there are lots of people around the world who are very eager to do this physics and we're trying to work together. Working on the ILC is a unique opportunity for students and early career scientists because we are a small international group, so young people get visibility and also responsibility very soon. The huge benefit of being part of the ILC project is that it is still a relatively small project, so you really get to know everyone involved and also to possibly make a name for yourself. There's still a lot to be done. So I gain a tremendous experience working on the cutting-edge technologies, on the data science, how to operate with the modern techniques and uh, detectors and the software, and that's really valuable to me. Among several proposals for building the next major particle accelerator, the ILC is the technologically most mature, and the one which can achieve the precise characterization of the Higgs boson with the smallest amount of resources. At the very heart of the uh, accelerating technology is energy efficiency. This is why we use, for instance, superconducting structures uh, in order to accelerate the particles. But beyond that, we work currently to make the ILC operable purely on renewable energies. Since already 10 years, we have a project called the Green ILC, which investigates how the whole ILC laboratory could be a model campus of a sustainable uh, science facility. There are new fundamental laws of nature which are out there waiting to be discovered. You get a chance to probe for what undiscovered laws of nature are, and you get to ask nature very sharp questions about the nature of those laws. Sometimes you get answers that you don't expect, but those are all clues which hopefully will lead you to a better understanding.